Hello there, it's Trisha, and uh, we're here in Los Angeles doing some more Ask Trisha Questions and Answers. And so thank you all for sending in your questions on Twitter and Facebook and TrishaHelper.com. Um, I haven't read through them all, so it's going to be a surprise uh, each, each time I read one. But uh, again, thank you all for sending them in, and let's get right to them. Hello. I have launched a new website dedicated to bringing Battlestar Galactica fans and stars together to help make a real and tangible difference in our world through charitable efforts and giving. That's fantastic of you. Thank you. Uh, I was looking to gather a list of favorite charities of the actors on the show, including Ms. Helfer. So I'll ask Trisha, what are your favorite charities and causes? Dawn, Webmasters of Checker Green. Checkers Green. For me, I just, I've always loved animals and, and um, they hold a very special place for me. So. Uh, one of my favorites in Los Angeles is Kitten Rescue, uh, kittenrescue.org. Um, I work quite closely with them and I have quite, I've adopted quite a few of their cats. Uh, very, uh, it's a small, all volunteer run group, that no kill shelter, and they, they're just amazing. I'm, I'm humbled all the time by their dedication and, and the amount of work they do and put in. Um, they're, they're saints. Um, and in the same vein, in Vancouver, a city outside of Vancouver is called Richmond, the Richmond Animal Protection Society. It's a huge no-kill shelter for cats, and um, there's actually a helper fund there, so if anyone wants to donate uh, to RAPS, they can donate to specifically the helper fund, and it goes into a fund that RAPS started on my behalf um, from one of my donations uh, from my website, um, and it is dedicated specifically to, to uh, the medical uh, treatment for the older animals in the shelter and that's dear to my heart because I have a couple of older cats that are in need of medical help so um, the shelter that gets it very expensive for the shelter and for a no-kill shelter um, so that's what the Helper Fund is for. I started getting into Best Friend Society which I think is a, a huge hugely successful and, and fantastic organization I want to visit their ranch I haven't done that yet um, and the Humane Society. You know, sometimes we forget about the farm animals and the wild animals and things like that. Society does. They, they think uh, just about the furry cats and dogs that we have as pets and um, not enough attention is paid to the farm animals and, and humane treatment of, of farm animals and, and the wildlife. So uh, the Humane Society is, is huge into that. And I do also have to mention uh, the Gulf Restoration Network which my friend Katie Sackoff and I, when our Acting Outlaws uh, company, um, worked closely with for our La La ride, which was, we rode motorcycles from Los Angeles to New Orleans, um, hopefully to raise awareness for the Gulf Restoration Network and help them with their message, uh, which is about the ongoing cleanup um, of the oil spill and also just about the, you know, the loss of the marshes and, and everything that, that you know, the South has been dealing with and Louisiana has been dealing with. Um, the GRN does a, a lot of great advocacy work um, and, and so that would be another one of my close charities. Next question. Do you watch your work back in its entirety and if so, are you able to get the same sense of story from it that you would get from something you haven't worked on? For example, Battlestar Galactica. Um, I do watch what the shows that I do and the movies that I do entirely. Um, you know, and usually if I get pulled into the storyline, uh, because obviously you know what happens and you're your own worst critic, so if, if I get pulled in, then I know that, you know, it's, it's I've done a good job and the production has done a good job and, and so forth. Um, I got sucked in many times with Battlestar Galactica. But you know, I, I definitely like watching the whole thing because even though you've read the script, you're not on set every day, and it's nice to see what your co-stars have done and how they handle the scene, or you know, the editing can completely change things. Um, you know, in a scene that I just did for 17th Precinct, a pilot for NBC, you know, one whole character is completely not in it. They edited edited it completely out, and uh, it's it's interesting to see the final edit and see how it it all comes together as a story. So I do watch it. It is hard to separate yourself from it though, just because you're watching yourself in something that you've done. Finished the questions for today. Thank you all for sending them in. Uh, there were some great questions. 
And be sure to tune in on TrishaHelper.com for the next installment of Ask Trisha. And you can continue to send your questions. We will compile them and we will be doing more questions and answers in the future. So be sure to tune in and thank you all again. Thank you.